What's going on guys? Jake Teasley here. It is bright and early in Southern California. Today we're going to check out my Mustang and a few things that I like. Features that are kind of uh, not that well known and I thought that would be a little bit more unique than just doing your typical review. So let's get started. One of the first things to note is you just need to press the button and then hold it down and you can roll down your windows from the key fob and that is a great way to cool the car off if your car has been sitting in the parking lot and on your way to your car, you can let all that hot air out. There is a button to open your trunk right here. A lot of people, believe it or not, did not know that on the message boards, and that's how you can open up the trunk. The next thing is how do you close the trunk because there's no pull handle. This is an emergency latch. There's nothing to grab on to pull this thing down. So what I do is I grab the GT badge and use that to close the trunk. That way you don't get any smudges on your nice shiny black paint. In the glove box, underneath, you have a pin holder. If you would like better audio from the driver's seat, you should go into the settings section. You should go to sound, then go to, instead of all seat, which is the factory setting, you need to go to driver, and that will give you a much better experience with the audio system. If you want the traction control to be completely off, you need to go to track mode here with your toggle switch. And then you need to hold up the trash control off button for about eight seconds and only then will the trash control be actually completely 100% off and then even then if you're doing a dyno run you still need to go under the hood and pull a fuse but that's the best way to get the trash control completely off don't just go to track mode you actually need to hold up that track off button but don't do so unless you know what you're doing because you can hurt yourself all right guys those are a few of the features of the 2015 Mustang GT that they don't tell you about that are just like necessarily something that you're gonna find out on your own. You kind of need, someone needs to show you that kind of stuff unless you just thoroughly read the message boards or the, the book pamphlet. But uh, a lot of people just jump in the car and take off and they're not quite enthusiasts. But if you're watching this channel, maybe you are enthusiasts and you already know this stuff and this is old stuff and it's not original at all. But trying to come up with some original stuff for the channel and it's extremely hard to come up with new stuff. So I'm just dabbling with a bunch of different stuff. Anyways, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you wanna see some more of this or that, let me know. Uh, and I'm trying to post a video every single day and uh, have a good day. Peace.